Homicide detectives here at IMPD are working to find the person or people who killed 19-year-old Trayvon Mann. Meanwhile, his mother is asking the question, why? I just don't see why this could happen to him. Kathy Mann still has flyers left over from when her son Trayvon went missing. We put flyers all over the city, all over the east side. January 11th is the last time she saw him alive. <sighs> Police found Trayvon's body inside a townhouse at Post Brook East Apartments Thursday night. Mann says she got a call from the Indianapolis 10 Point Coalition before she heard from police. He was asking me how old was my son and I told him and he said, can you describe him? Does he have any tattoos or anything? And I said, yeah. I said, why? And um, he told me they had just found a body on 42nd. The group often generates tips that help solve crimes. The phone call that the 10 Point Coalition actually got to where my son was. I mean, just that tip alone. I mean, had we not got that tip, we probably would have never found my son. Although we weren't able to uh, prevent uh, the tragedy at this time, we certainly was able to help bring some closure. Detectives found Trayvon's body less than a mile from the scene of a fatal shooting Monday night. The 10 Point Coalition announcing plans last month to expand along the 42nd and Post Corridor. It's not going to be easy, you know, but if it was, it would have already been done. Three of the city's nine homicides so far this year have happened in the same area. These kids and these people that are dying out here, they're not just the number, they're people and their families behind them. Just two months before going missing, Trayvon Mann became a father. Justice for me and my family is to get whoever the person or people that did this to my son. You know, if this was your family member, how would you feel? Kathy Mann says she is waiting for a call from the coroner's office so she can go identify her son's body and begin making funeral arrangements. Reporting downtown, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.